In this Adobe Illustrator tutorial, I'm going to show you how to apply bleed and marks to your document. The result will look something like this. So in short, the bleed is the safe area beyond the edge of where the sheet will be trimmed and the crop marks indicate where the sheet will be trimmed. So let's get started with creating the document. If you can't find the bleed setting right away, click on more settings and the bleed option will be there. In this menu, we're going to choose a size for the artboard and the number of artboards. I'll set the number of artboards to three to show you some options for creating the crop marks. This is the section where we will fill in the size of the bleed area. You can do this in pixels, millimeters, inches, or whatever you need for your project. So let's fill in the size and have a look what will happen. This link icon right here is used to make sure that all the edges get the same bleed. To change it, just deselect the icon, and in this way you can give every edge its own bleed. Okay, so let's give it a 10 pixel bleed and create a document. The white area in the document is the artboard and the red line indicates where the bleed ends. If you're not fully satisfied with the size of the bleed area, you can still make changes to that by going to File, select Document Setup, and in this menu, you can make changes to the size of the bleed area. Click OK and you can now see that the bleed area is expanded. What I'm going to do now is just create something on my artboards to show you the different ways to apply bleed and crop marks. The first artboard will be filled to the limits of the artboard. The second artboard will be filled to the limits of the bleed area. And the third artboard will get multiple objects to show you how to apply the crop marks to these objects. So the first option we have to get some crop marks into our design is by selecting one or multiple objects and then go to Effect, Crop Marks. The downside of this option is that there is no bleed applied to the area outside of the crop marks. And if you try to do that, the crop mark will just move along with the object. So this option only comes in handy when you have multiple objects like in Artboard 3. So select the multiple objects and then, and then again apply the crop marks. And then you'll see that it will apply the crop marks to all of the objects. So that's actually the only way I can think of when this option might come in handy. Uh, the cleaner way is to do it when saving the file as a PDF file, which brings us to the second option. Go to File and select Save As. Choose PDF as extension and click on Save. This will bring up the PDF option menu and move over to Marks and Bleeds to set up the option for this document. If it's necessary for your project, you can first select the PDF preset you need when printing. To use the bleed settings we've already created with the document, make sure that Use Document Bleed setting is checked. Now select the trim marks and if you want you can also select the color bars, which are used to visualize what inks are needed to print the document. The offset is the distance between the mark and the document. So when we will set the offset to 10 pixel, it will come right in the middle of the bleed area, which is perfect. So now that we're all done, we're going to save the PDF and open it to see what results we got. So the first page is the page without the bleed added outside of the artboard. The biggest risk and the reason why you should not do it like this is because of the risk that there will be white lines visible when cut out according to the trim marks. The second page is the artboard with the bleed and this is the result we are looking for. This has a nice 20 pixel bleed and is easy to trim in the production. So this is all you really need to know about bleed and crop marks in Adobe Illustrator. Thanks for watching and consider to subscribe if it helped you.